Hi, everybody. I'm Trini Lopez. Ladies and gentlemen, Trini Lopez. I didn't think that any of my songs would be hits. That's for starters. <laughs> you really were the trailblazer. Trini Lopez. Great. Trini Lopez. Trini is back. Trini is probably one of the most exciting young performers today. Oh, he was cute as a button. Yeah, he was a handsome kid. Like a lot of people from my generation, I discovered him through thrift store records. Gibson came to Trini and said, we want you to design two guitars for us. This guitar, I've made every single Foo Fighters record with. Because people like my style, I guess, you know. My father kept coming in from Mexico to Texas, illegal, by the way. People today do not realize what he went through because he was a Mexican and proud of it. He said, I'd like to talk to you about maybe recording you. The only problem is we need to change your name. Take that Lopez name out. At that time, folk music was real in. Now he added some Latin rhythm to it, and a fusion happened. He was doing something that was so different than anything else that was being done. And so I get credit for, for starting Latin rock. The moment Trini hit with a power that was not too unlike the power of the Beatles, really. Trini was, like, more popular than any of us. I started hearing about a place in Hollywood called PJ's. They were all going to this place, Sinatra. Steve McQueen, Paul Newman, Natalie Wood, all of us. Frank Sinatra sent one of his biggest record producers, and he would like to offer you a six-year recording contract. <laughs> so ever since then, I never did the Johnny Carson show anymore. <laughs> Princess Grace, she was my biggest fan. He said, I think you should leave the movie. There was a, a falling out. My name is Trinidad Lopez. Now, everybody calls me Trini for short. Thank you!